What is up guys? The Rev is here once more in Crash Bandicoot The Wrath of Cortex And uh, I had a magnificent moment in between videos where I saved the game I went back here, got ready to start recording again, resume without you guys Knowing I saved the game because no one likes to see games being saved Aha! Aha! And uh, I, I got here, I waited for a minute, because I checked something very briefly on my phone, and I went, Did I save the game? I saved the game! No, I don't think I saved the game. I went back to the save point and saved it again, even though, once I got to the save point, it told me, Yes, you did save the game. You fucking idiot, why are you saving again? Go back and play the game! Anyway, Fahrenheit Frenzy, that's where we're off to. This level could be anything. Well, I'm guessing it's a bog standard level, but honestly, the... Clip could, it could be anything. Oh. Hope you brought your sunscreen, cause you're gonna burn. Oh, that one's lazy. Shame on you, Pyro. I mean, fair enough. Like, there's only so many fire puns you can do, I suppose. That should have been the first one he did, cause it was very. Mm, it didn't even sound angry. It's just more like, oh, I'm gonna burn you. I hope you brought your sunscreen. Are you from England? You need that factor 20 then. Oh. Okay. Oh, fuck me. This is the fucking jetpack level from fucking... Okay. Gotta find out how to go forward now. Alright, circle goes backwards. X goes forward. Okay. The fuck this level. I don't give a shit. Oh, the controls are inverted. Up is down, down is up. Oh, fuck me. That first part is so hard they needed a checkpoint. Uh, we're not doing this. We're not getting a gem on this one. We're not going to fucking bother. Just don't fucking die. It'd be a bit easier if the controls weren't inverted. Is there an option for that? No. Adjust screen, sound options, and language. Well... Fuck me then, I guess. At least everything is an inverted and it's just a down and up. Still not a fan of that because... Uh, it means half... Oh, fuck, the floor's lava. Um... <laughs> oh, look, you got the firefish. Look at the firefish. Oh, I'm going to lose so many lives on this level, probably. That's fine. Let's just get fucking through it. Let's get fucking through it. It's one of those types of levels where I'm like, oh, did you guys not learn from, I think it was actually Crash 2 where they had the first version of this level. Where you had the fucking thing with the thing. But then again, that was the gimmick for the final boss, so I suppose they needed to have a couple of levels with it in as well, so. Oh, God. Hope this gimmick doesn't come up in a boss fight, because that boss fight's going to take a while, it tells you that. Alright. So what you actually do for that part is just gun it and hope. Oh, thank the fucking maker. Alright, we're not getting the gem this time, but, you know, I can live with that. Here we go. Hey, we got our coup. Great. Don't, you? Don't really know why I bother with that, because, yeah. Uh, you know, can't get the fucking gym anyway. Am I on a conveyor belt right now? Yes, I am. I don't know what that means, the white. Uh, I assume it means I can enter it, which I could. Fuck off, how about that? Oh, great. Now we've got fucking spiral energy, man. What the fuck is that? I'm invisible now. How does that help anyone? Okay. Well, okay then, I suppose. Fuck it. Cool, your death was worthy, I swear. Was it, though? No. Well, it got me to a checkpoint, so fuck it. Can't say further than that. And I got a new Aku. Aku doesn't give a fuck. Fuck it. Aha! Fire! It looks like there's no floor there. No, we're fine on that front. 
Well, okay then. Bonus stage. This one I'm gonna give one attempt. Because fuck this level. Well, that's mean. Oh, you need to get the TNT to get the fucking thing on this one. Which is fair, I suppose. Um. Ah. Hang on. No. Oh, this is a dud, and I'm going to lose Aku because of it, too. That's very annoying. I was unaware. Oh, well. Whatever. Needs must. What the fuck is that? Did I kill you? Yes, I can. Well, that was not a threat at all, was it? Ah, fuck him. You live to fight another day, Mr. Gas Man. Gas Man! What the fuck? Um, I bet that's a time limit. Oops! Oh, I don't like that at all. Why'd you make that a thing? Why? Oh, I could have gotten like... Oh, fuck it. Let's get myself an Aku while I don't know what the gimmick is. I mean, Crash is definitely getting cancer after that. So I guess that's the gimmick. Is that... Cortex is just like, you know what? I'll win a war of attrition. Let's just hope he gets uh, the Bandicoot cancer. And uh, leave it at that. I can only assume that that's what the plan is. Otherwise, that just appears to fuck up your vision. And, you know. Right, well, guess what? Okay. Alright. There's a ping box there. There doesn't seem to be a time limit. It's a cool filter, I'll give it that. You know, it's cool seeing Crash's skeleton. But I don't quite I don't quite get that other than just you know what? We've got a cool we've got a cool idea for a part of the stage. Okay, cool. Does it actually affect gameplay? No, then do it. Some people may get sick from it. Oh, we don't want to be in that when it fucking pops. You never know what it might be. Can Crash Bandicoot actually get cancer if he's got multiple lives? I'm now invisible. I don't know what that means. Just seeing as you can't tell because... X-rays. I don't know. Oh, Nacho Crates. I locked out there because I've got to keep our coup. How many crates did we miss? We missed more than half. I got the crystal though, so fuck it. We out. Hopefully Crash doesn't have to go through too much chemo. Ugh. This joke's getting slightly darker than I intended. Hey, look. Crash is back to normal. He used up one of his lies. It's fine. It's all good. And now we get to fight the epic, 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 epic combo of Pyro and Crush. And this boss fight... I don't recall at all. So this will be fun. Crashes to ashes. Let's see your tag team promo, guys. Let's see how good it is. How pissed is Crush that he's not being pushed solo yet? Probably pretty pissed. Ah, the triumphant hero Crash. Reduced to a pile of smoldering ash. And that's where you get the name from the level. Let's finish this. You're never going to get a solo push if all you say is just like, Yeah, I'm going to kill you because my partner said so already. Like, come on, you're going to have a bit more character than that. Mr. Personality? Yeah. I don't even know what the fuck I'm doing no more. Because <laughs> we're free, Fallen. Oh, this looks very much like the Killer Kong. What? I died straight away. I didn't even get to do anything. Have I got to run? Okay. Oh, it's a boss fight. That's a runaway fight. Okay, that's interesting. Alright, that's a pretty neat gimmick. Okay. Now we're on equal footing. Because our coup's in our corner. Oh, we got water. We managed to hit him. 
Okay. Okay. I love it. Okay, so Aku is in our corner. Because Aku is helping us. Aku is like, okay, once we get, once you get to the other side of the room, I'll beef up this robot that no doubt Coco made, because Coco is a fucking genius. And I'll power it with infinite water. Now when you get back to this stage, it's just like, okay, Pyro's on this side. This isn't actually a fight between Crash and Crush. This is a fight between Aku and Pyro. Which I can appreciate from a thematic standpoint. This is a mask battle. Holy shit, if you want to go anime with it, this is a fucking stand battle. Oh, we can see each other's stands and everything. Now, you don't even have to hit him for long, either. Oh, okay, and you don't actually control how fast you move while in the robot. It just goes. So, because I tried to stop so I could have a bit of a head start. Okay, I think he's now purposefully aiming at me with his rocks. Oh, god damn it, I did the same thing twice. This is a very, very simple boss fight, but can easy, you can easily fuck it up, as you've already seen me do twice. Although the first time I'm not blaming myself because I didn't understand I had to run away. I was just like, okay. I thought, Like I said, I thought it was the uh, Killer Koala fight from Crash 1 again, where you had the fucking lava stopping you from actually getting to him. So you had to fling the fucking rocks back at him. Oh, fuck off. Fuck off, I didn't get him? That's some bullshit. Alright, mm. No, you're not getting me again. He's, gonna, he's trying to fake me out. He's trying to fake me out. No, I'm faking myself out. That's what's happening. I need to go. Yeah. You can't just start instantly. Otherwise it don't count. And you can't get more than one hit in. Which, you know, fair enough. But I'm mildly annoyed that you can only get the one. Alright, this is the stage where I normally fucking die. Alright, yeah. No jumping. No fucking around. You can only dodge it by actually dodging it. You can't jump over it. You can't be cheeky using your cheeky tech. Oh, and you got to run further now. Oh, fuck off! Alright, uh, this one's going to be tough. That second hit is, uh, is fucking me up. The third hit's probably going to be a nightmare to get. It would be nice to get the second hit, just so I can experience the third stage and see how long of a travel I'm going to have to do. In fact, I still don't even know how long of a travel I've got to do for the fucking uh, second stage, really. Like, in theory, should I not be able to just distinguish that wall of fire? Really? Okay. Oh, it makes sense. I've got to run further away because the robot gets destroyed each time. So when they fucking bounce off the sides of the walls, it's just like, oh. If he gets you on the rebound, you can't even be mad. That's kind of a tricky shot to do. Oh, we've got a fucking bridge to go over and everything, man. There we go. Oh, don't fuck this up now, me. CB1, Crash Bandicoot 1. Nice. Oh, you bastard. You got mines I've got to fucking avoid now. Yeah, you've got to get that fucking shot in early, man. In this stage of the fight. That's bollocks. Okay. If that had killed me... And let's see what we got. Okay, this is going to be a really long run now. Oh, he splits them. He splits every other shot by the looks of things. No, not every other shot. Just most, uh, just randomly, randomly, random splits. That's not fair. Oh. Okay, at least we don't have to run further. Well, if I can get this really early, we're good. Oh, and they go off in random directions now too. Got him. Oh, he's just dead. In that stage, he just gets obliterated, man. Oh, wow, you got to go all the way back. And I think this is Super Tornado. But damn, that, that looked like a death animation. Not a, Oh, you just beat him. You knocked the fucking element right out of him. So yeah, we can we can do the death copter now. Which is a very good ability. I, I, I'm, I'm fond of it. You can use it a lot for actual platforming purposes as well. I don't tend to. Because it can sometimes be a bit of a bugger to last as long as you want it to. It feels very temperamental. Feels like the amount of time it will last varies between jumps you make. Uh, which, whether it actually does that or not, or just feels like it, it feeling like it does is not a good thing. Anyway, let's see what Cortex and Crunch have to say. <coughs> oh, it's Aka Aka. I'm beginning to question the value of your super weapon. Uh, he's also beating Pyro. I don't 
need another mask's help. I could take this crash punk out with my Evidently fucking not. Oh, Crunch. Stop being silly. Uka, he will use the elemental masks. No need for you to lose any beauty sleep. Oh, wow. Wow, you gotta admire the balls on Cortex to say that to an ancient being. Okay, time to fight the last last official elemental mask, which is the snow mask. Um, or ice, rather. Uh, so we've got avalanche, which looks like a snowboarding level for Coco. We've got... <coughs> Oh, my throat just died on me. Um, we've got Droid Void, which looks like a robot level. Crash Droids. Uh, looks like an aeroplane level, but not in an aeroplane. Uh, Coral Canyon, which is an underwater level. Fucking yay. I've been d craving one of those right now. And Weathering Heights, which looks like another sewage plant, power plant type level. Uh, let's try and get Avalanche done. During this section of the playthrough, in fact, we will. We'll get. We'll, this will be the last part of this video. Of this video, yes, that's what I was on before. Well, right, what we got here, Iceman? The Crash Bandicoot, eh? Oh, I've heard so much about you, and this is the hero I have to blow away. <laughs> Seems like a bunch of hot air to me. Okay, he's wind, not ice or snow. So I got that wrong. And uh, he appears to be Waspinator. <laughs> Waspinator, terrorize! Like seriously, just have him do that line. It sounds the exact same fucking thing. I don't know what this mask is called though yet. So bad show in not introducing us. So uh, got to take a mark off your promo for that. Otherwise, it was actually pretty good. It's just like, oh, you're meant to be this hero, eh? Nah, you're shit. Oh, I can dig this fucking music. It's like, did it, did it, did it. Don't sound anything like that. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, it's very, um, it sounds very wintry. I'll give it that. Whoever made this part of the soundtrack, good job. You, you, mission accomplished. Can only assume that was your goal. Very alpine. That's the word I was looking for, rather than wintry. Alright, let's see if we can do this. Alright, we go here. Uh, we managed to do it. What did that accomplish? Is there chests back here now? Or chests, crates, even? No, it doesn't look like it. Well, fuck it. Now, this section of the game doesn't look too bad. This section of the game doesn't look too bad to me. Because my, um... Well, like I said, my game's pretty... Uh, my uh, thing, apparently, is quite gloomy, even though it usually isn't. And, uh, yeah, it's this, this, this actually, I've got no problem seeing anything, which is always a good, good sign. Man, I like Coco's fucking music in general, I think. Okay, time to get fucking serious. Yeah. Well, we managed to hit that thing. So, whatever it did. No, well, I thought I might be able to get it. I did not. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. <laughs> Uh, I've never seen the room. I've just seen the highlights of it. It looks like a dumb fucking film. I imagine, actually, the way I've seen the room is the ideal way to see the room. Because apparently that plot is nonsensical. But if you see bits of it instead of the whole story, it's okay. So take that for what it's real. Well, for what you will. Instead of watching the room, just watch the highlights of the room and you'll be fine. Still not a cohesive, it's cohesive narrative, but apparently it's not if you watch it in order, so fuck it. Is that a... Oh, that's a death route. I somehow got the death route. That's cool. Oh, right, yeah, because I haven't hit any checkpoints yet. That, if there's no checkpoints... Oh, it's not a death route, it's a bonus stage. Never mind. My apologies. Oh, this is Coco, of course, so we can't sneak over. Which is alright then, I suppose. What the fuck? That's new. I've never seen anything like that in a bonus stage. Oh, fuck. No, fuck it. I think we're just buggered. I think I've just buggered myself. I don't think Coco can make that jump. Yes, she can. Never mind. Yeah, do it, do it, do it, do it. Touch it, touch it, touch it, touch it, touch it. 
or something. I don't fucking know the fucking way the song goes. Alright, let's make this jump. Aha! I preemptively knew there'd be nitro crates, I swear. Obviously, we need to blow the TNTs because we can't body slam. Oh, okay, there must be a way to... Oh, no, I fucked it. Oh, I f I've completely fucked it. Oh, no. I'm not going to be able to... Mm. I'm not going to be able to beat the level now because I didn't, uh, the TNTs was not enough to blow up those crates. Which is very curious because Crash's body slam can break those crates. But TNT can't. What? Uh, well, I'll still try and get all the crates, but I'll be honest with you, I don't think I'm going to make it now, technically. Okay. It looked like snowboarding, but in fact it's not. It's just uh, waddling like you shit yourself down a slope. Yeah, I, I don't really want to get hit by that penguin, please. Danke, danke. Thank you very much. Hey, we got our mask. Now time to pop a crate. Okay. And round two for the snowboarding. Oh, actual snowboarding. Okay, I wasn't wrong. I've oh, got one of 22. Okay, interesting. Alright, we need to go faster. Gotta go fair. Oh, okay, well, we're... F oh, I think that's for the... That's for the gates, not for the fucking... Oops. Let's see, does it break that one? Yes, it does, so fuck it. Okay, there must be a gem in this stage if you've managed to hit all the swallows. Which I'm not going to be able to do. Ah, uh, fucked it, mate. Fucked it, mate. Uh, let's see, does it going to get all the crates for us? Let's just keep that up. It's getting them all so far, because I remember there was one where I was like, oh, it should be getting all the stuff, but then it fucking didn't. Lion bastard. 93 out of 113. I think we've missed it by about three. I've missed it by two, and I know exactly what two crates it was. It was the two fucking body slam crates, which I don't know how you blow up then, because as Coco you can't power slam, uh, body slam. So I, I just don't know. I just don't fucking know. I don't even think you can crawl as Coco. There's not a lot you can do as Coco. Coco is kind of rubbish in this game. Which uh, I can appreciate in the uh, remaster that you can play as Coco and she's just Crash but a different skin. Instead of doing a spin dash, she does a spin kick. You know? Which Crash also does a kick, but he's doing it so fucking fast. And you, can, you, you can be forgiven for just thinking he spins around. Uh, but yes, that's the end of our video for today. Next time we'll take on more stages in the Wind Realm. Which again, it should be fucking ice. But whatever, who gives a fuck? I'm not keeping count of how many times I've been wrong and right about elements, but fuck it. Um, so that makes the elements wind, water, fire, and earth. I suppose that is the four actual core elements, you know, that the Greeks thought of. Or some fucking race, I don't fucking know. I'm not good with ancient history off the top of my head. I'm good with certain points of ancient history, but not a generic overview. Greek ain't one of them. So, <laughs> Uh, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. As always, keep yourselves safe and keep yourselves happy. I'll see you all again real soon. Bye for now. Oh, I want everybody slam. There we go.